So as you mentioned, the greater Houston area continues to feel the effects of Hurricane Harvey, now a tropical storm making landfall yet again. It's dumped as much as 52 inches of rain in some parts of the region. Federal and local agencies say they've rescued more than 13,000 people in the Houston area, but they aren't the only ones helping their fellow citizens get to safety. Hundreds, if not thousands, of everyday citizens have been using their own trucks and boats in countless rescue attempts. And one of those good Samaritans joins us now here on SportsCenter, UFC heavyweight contender Derek Lewis. First of all, Derek, appreciate the time today. We've all been stunned, quite honestly, by some of the images we've seen from the Houston area. What did you see that compelled you to take it upon yourself to join these rescue efforts? Um, thanks for having me. Um, first of all, it was like it was me and my wife was watching the news and we seen that uh, we heard that the officers are not going to be going out. Only only way they're going to go out is because the life or death situation. So I seen that and I really didn't like that. So I went out and and try to help as many people as I can. We've seen some of your posts on social media, both on Twitter and Instagram. You do seem to have a fairly large truck there. How much time have you spent uh, venturing out into the streets uh, looking for people to help? Um, especially yesterday, it was like early morning, like around 8 o'clock, all the way to maybe 10, 10-ish. And I haven't ate all day. And my wife, she was mad at me because I didn't eat, so I didn't care. Yeah, of course. The time went by so fast, so. Yeah, of course your wife's going to be worried about you while you were out there trying to help so many people, but do you know how many people you've rescued at this point, Derek? Uh, i say over 100 people, I believe. Wow, 100 people by yourself. So are these efforts continuing? Or are you still planning to go out and help as many people as you can? Yes, yeah, sir. Um, last night we heard that Beaumont, got hit pretty bad too and they, they're a few miles away from um, Houston and a couple of buddy of mine we, right now we are cooking uh, we barbecuing and getting everything prepared to head out that way yeah so it's just not just rescuing them once they you get them to safety they still have to be taken care of in a certain aspect um, what's been the most challenging aspect of these rescue attempts um, I say the ants you know because I'm allergic to ants and my ankles right now are pretty swollen from getting bit by the ants, the yeah. fire ants. Yeah, for those not familiar with that part of the country, you have fire ants, and they band together in these large floating sort of, they look like tortillas, quite honestly, uh, to save themselves, and people get onto them, but then you jump onto anything nearby, and they can really sting and bother you for quite some time. Um, the people that you've rescued, I, I'm sure they've been grateful and just elated, but can you describe some of the emotions that you've witnessed during these rescues? Um, it's like, it's something like you see in the movies, you know, they crying, um, barely can walk, and it's just really heartbreaking just to see that, and I'm just happy that I could be able to help them and try to comfort them as much as I can. You know, it's been great to see some of the other sports stars around the country donate money to the relief efforts, but Derek Lewis from the UFC boots on the ground, using his truck and his other resources to help people get to safety. Rescued more than 100 people so far, and he continues to go out there later today and throughout the week. Derek, we appreciate the time, and uh, stay safe, but good luck out there. You're doing some really good work. I appreciate it. And I, I just want to say one more thing. Man. Sure. I don't want people to think that I'm a hero, hero or anything. You know, I'm just doing stuff that, you know, I think everyone should do. Because, you know, America is going through a tough time right now trying to divide us and all that. It doesn't matter about race. You know, I'm happy with just about anybody that I can. Well said, Derek. Well said. Again, appreciate the time and continued uh, success and good luck out there.